Hello friends and greetings from cold and icy Iceland. <laughs> Here we're doing a flight over the new berms that have been constructed to save Blue Lagoon and geothermal power plant at uh, Svartsangi from the possible volcanic eruption, which is very likely to happen anytime soon. Early this morning, Icelandic morning newspaper spoke to Torvaldur Tordason, Iceland's leading volcanologist, who said that it seems to me that it is slowly heading for an eruption. The land rise is starting to slow down as before the last two events, and I can only see it erupting very soon. Magma accumulation under Svartsengi continues. All of the land rise slowed down somewhat in the last few days. According to the newly updated models, the amount of magma under Svartsengi is now estimated to be around 9 million cubic meters. It is estimated that around 9 to 13 million cubic meters of magma arrived under Svartsengi, precisely this area that is visible all around here. <clears throat> Torvaldur believes that it is only a matter of days until the new volcanic outbreak. If there is an eruption, it will be very similar in pattern to the one that erupted on January 14th. He says that the system has reached its tolerance limit and when this happens, it can erupt any time. It is believed that the magma will emerge in a similar place as the last time. The movement of earthquakes is at, the, at this land weakness along the same tunnel that the magma had been taking advantage to break up. That's the easiest way for the magma to get through. Similar opinions had been also expressed by Benedict Ofixon, head of the formation measurements at the Icelandic Met Office. He confirms there is a higher probability of a third volcanic eruption in Reykjanes Peninsula in the near future. At the moment, the situation is similar as before the last eruption. Our monitoring data shows very similar signals as before the January 14th eruption and actually December 18th one as well, he says. Eruption pattern has become very regular. We see the eruptions every month now. It is a question whether this pattern will continue that way, but that can be predicted for certain. But the data is behaving in a similar fashion, with magma inflow and land rise at a similar rate. Actually, the amount of magma in the magma chamber under Svartsengi is believed to have become more than what we had seen prior to the January event. Currently, the magma accumulation under Svartsengi is estimated to be around 9 million cubic meters since the end of the last eruption. This is stated in an announcement from the Volcano and Natural Hazards Group of South Iceland. When asked where the next eruption would take place, Benedict says that the event should be expected in the same area as the last two times, between Storas Kogafat and Hagafat Mountains. Benedict also tells that it is difficult to foretell the size of a possible eruption we don't see we don't foresee anything, it just has to be observed as it happens, he says, but adds that it is likely that the eruption will be similar to the previous two. Enjoy the footage and I wish you all the best, be well.